Welcome back to an episode of Bass Rose. And today, I got Danny out here on the kayaks. We're on Walled Lake again, and we're gonna try to hit some more. Some, we're gonna try to catch some more bass out here. Right now, I have a, a red lipless on because that's what I got like a two pound, ten ounce one on in the last video. So we're gonna roll with that a little bit. And then when it gets a little bit later, because it's around like 3:30 right now, I got the buzz bait on, and we're gonna try to get some top water bites. So if you guys aren't here, be sure to subscribe and stay tuned. Got the little red lipless, and let's see if he'll get the job done. I think so. Oh, that was first cast. What the heck? I already got one first cast. Oh, yes. That red lipless doing the dirty work. Oh, it feels like a good one. Honestly, it might be a pike just by the way it feels. But I don't know. It's a good one. It's pulling me. But it's also pretty weedy. Oh, yeah, that's a pike. No, wait, that's a bass. It was just stuck in the weeds. Oh yeah, he's digging. That's a smallie, I think. Woo, jeez, oh, he's digging. That was the first cast too. I think the lipless is the way to go right now. He's getting me stuck all in these weeds. It's a nice small jaw. Come here, boy. He won't, he won't give up. Jeez. Got him. First cast, no way. All right, that's what we're talking about, first cast. Got this nice small jaw. He was pummeling me in those weeds, but beautiful fish right there. We always love a good small jaw. They fight so hard. Woo, this is looking like it's gonna be a good day. So I was saying earlier, I was like, I just feel like it's gonna be a good day, and I think it's starting off to be a pretty decent one. So we're all good. Gonna get a few pictures of this nice guy, and I'm gonna let him go. Got the pictures, now time to let them go. Thanks for biting my crank. Have a great day. Let's go. Boom. Danny uses dead perch metal like he always finds somehow. I don't know how I find them, but got me a nice big rock bass, so. I don't get it. Like he just finds minnows everywhere, then uses them, and then uses dead minnows and catches fish. Yeah, right, so. And it's a good tactic, I guess. All right, so we'll let him go. See you later, Ricky. Ricky the Rock. I'm over two with largies, they just keep jumping off, but finally got this small mouth, so. Boom, beautiful well, smallie. I guess the smallies are biting today. Yeah. Because we both right. have one smallie. Let him go? Yep. There he goes. Boom. Finally got a nice largie. Well, a little, little largie, but we'll take it. First landed largie of the day for both of us. Yep. We lost like three total. <laughs> yeah, so we'll let him go. Yep. What's up, little guy? Oh. Gave you a nice splash. Probably yeah. feels good. It does. So I moved out to some deeper water, got the Texas rig on, and hopefully we can get a bite this way. Oh, I got a bite. Oh, that was a little rock or something. Oh, he's biting again. He's got it. Yep, there it is. Knew it was a little rock bass. Boom. New is a little rock bass. Sorry for the boat noise, but there's just like a thousand boats just zooming around us right now. I knew it was a little rock bass, just by the, the little taps, the way it was biting, you know. But anyways, still a nice catch. We'll take him. I am sending him on his way. See you later, buddy. Oh, yep, yeah, there's one. Oh, not a bad one. That's actually a decent one, dude. Oh, yeah. Stay pinned. Oh jeez, he's taking me. Please stay pinned, mate. Jeez, he's taking. <laughs> Dude, he's having fun down there. No, I don't think so. I think two and a half. <laughs> Got him. That is a decent one. That actually could be. That's a nice one right there. <laughs> Let's get it, mate. <laughs> We're definitely going to weigh it. It's a bit skinny, but that's definitely... That's a size that could be a three. My guess game is so strong. Two pounds, eight ounces there. If that was fat, easily could be a three, but that is a nice bass regardless. We're gonna get a few pictures of this Mondo and then we're gonna send him on his way. And we're gonna send this big one on the way. Tell your even bigger friends to bite so we can get a three pounder today. Woo! Danny's little dink pike. We're gonna hand him over. Oh, well, there he goes. 
Oh well, Danny doesn't get to hold his fish. It's okay. I don't even know if I have one, but I think I do. Yeah, I do. Oh, yep, yeah, there it is. I got him. He was stuck in the weeds. Just a nice little guy. <laughs> I'm so confused. Just a little guy. He's stuck. He's dragging me in the weeds. That's why he felt really big. There we go. There we go. Nice little LMB. As soon as I switched up colors to the, the green pumpkin with the neon tail. So I think that's the move. They didn't really want the white pearl. Although I did catch that nice 2.8 on the white pearl. But they really wanted that, that green pumpkin neon tail. Well, there we go. And that's a nice little LMB. Nothing big, but we'll definitely take them. And we're going to let them go now. Look at, this, look at that size on that one, that girth. That's a nice one. That could be his PB. We're gonna have to get a weight on him real quick, and I'll get right back to you guys. Got the pictures. It's a nice one. It looked bigger yeah. than two four though. Yeah, it did. But we'll let him go. We'll let him go. It's a nice catch, regardless. Kind of doing him dirty out here today. And off he goes. Oh yeah, there's one. Oh yeah. Dude, we found the juice here in these weeds. Oh, that's a nice one too. Dude, we're getting some nice ones over here. I mean, that's no three. It's a nice one too. Probably like one and a half too. Dude, he is not, he's not vibing with me. Oh, he swam right to me. Yep, oh yeah, you're not getting away. Boom. There we go, it's my third largey. We're doing them dirty over here. There we go. It's definitely a nice solid one and a half, one and a half pounder. Always a nice catch. Boom. So we're just like at some like shallow weed bed area. It's like some grassy bottom and they're really loving it over here. So we're going to get a nice release on him and see you later, buddy. Tell your bigger friends to bite. Whew, what a day so far. Oh, wait, shoot, another one, dude. Oh my gosh. That was literally the next cast after that one. Oh, he's digging. <laughs> He's peeling. Oh, that's a good one, dude. Oh, yep. That's a good one. That mouth on that guy was big. Oh, yeah, that's a good one, dude. That could be a three. Oh, my gosh. Come here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, that's not as big as I thought. <laughs> that's a good one, dude. We're definitely getting weight on him. He's definitely two and a half. Like, this is a big one, dude. Oh, yeah. He's really skinny, though. That's the problem. That easily could be a three if he was fat. We're going to get a weight, though, regardless. Two pounds, five ounces right there. If he was, like I said, if he was a, a little bit fatter, he'd be good. We're going to let him go. Let's go. See if I can get three casts in a row. That would be legendary. Well, Danny's just slaying him now. I've lost my touch. It's all right. We can be, we can be camera guy. That's all good. I'm going to go uh, check out his fish, I guess. There we go. There's the fish he just cool. caught. Not a bad one. I'll take it. It's like, Third largey of the day, so probably like one and a half. Yeah, something like that. Uh, regardless, still a decent fish. So we'll let him go now. Gotta let him go then. Let him go, let him grow. You guys know what I'm saying? Tell the three pounders to bite. There we go. We got Danny's Mondo here. I have the scale, so I'm gonna wait for him. This could be his PB. Yes. Two pounds, twelve ounces. Danny's new PB. I got a nice picture for him. Almost a three. He almost caught his first three pounder. We're actually slaying out here. I'm gonna give it to him and. You guys can watch and see him. How does it feel? You broke that PB. Oh, it feels amazing. It's been a long time since I've I actually not that more. long. But... Hold up a little more. So, oh yeah, here we go. But it's it's finally I got my PB. It feels really good. So, well, we're gonna let him go now. So we just need a three pounder. We're getting yes, so close. We are getting really close today. So hopefully maybe three we're catching some mondos. So we'll let go. What a beautiful bass right there. Oh yes. Let's go. I'm so happy. Oh yeah, finally, finally guys, I got one here. Oh yeah, he's digging. Oh yeah, that's nothing big, but it's a little guy. But I'll take him. It's gonna be my fifth largemouth. Pew! Just a little wee, a wee little laddie. But geez, it's been a little bit since I caught one. But now, I caught one. It's my fifth one of the day. So we're, we're, due. we're doing good. We need five more to get double digits. Do you think we can get five more in two hours? That would be pretty sweet. We're gonna keep rolling. 
Hopefully we get some bigger ones, but I don't really care as long as you're catching them. And see you later, buddy. This bait is out. Wait, there's one. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah, you good, you good. Ooh, that's a nice one. Did a little show for us. It was just as soon as Danny caught his, I caught mine. <laughs> we found the juice, boys. Oh my gosh, he's digging. There's so much weeds down there, and they just get stuck, and it feels so much bigger. Oh my gosh, he wanted that, boy. He gulped that. He came with a little bit of salad, too. As you can see, that's where we're catching them in. That, like, help forest stuff. Boom, a nice solid, most likely around a one-pounder. Now we're going to let him go. It's a good catch. See you later, buddy. Oh, it's such a good day out here. Dude, Danny just got another chungus. He's pulling down the weeds. That's a big one. That actually could be his... He could break his PB twice in one day. Two pounds, 14 ounces. Let's go. Oh, it's so 213. Oh. Two pounds, 13 ounces. Danny broke his PB twice in one day. Boom, there we go. 213. Nice New one. PB twice in one day. We're getting some Mondos out here. All right, and we'll let them go. What a behemoth. Guys, this is an absolutely insane day. Oh, yeah, there's one. Oh, yeah. Feels like a good one. Not a bad one, dude. Although I say that in every bass. <laughs> uh. <laughs> yeah, it's the three we're missing. This ain't it, though. It's a decent one, though. All right. There we go. That's my eighth bass, guys. We're actually hammering these these bad boys. Woo! <laughs> I've never had such a good day out here. I uh, turned my back to the sun. Hopefully the lighting's better. So yeah, I can actually see this nice guy. Again, just a nice solid one pounder, but that's my eighth bass of the day. We're hammering these boys. And let's just keep doing them. Woohoo! Oh! Right at the yak, dude. It like bit it right at the yak. Oh, geez, dude, what? Oh, dude! Had another one strike at. He messed it up. We're getting strikes out here, so it's a good sign. Just need a connection. That is Danny's double-digit bass right there. He caught Number ten today. Ten. Oh, large mouth and small mouth. Or I don't even know what he said. But yeah, we'll let him go. That was a good first bite in like an hour and a half. Yeah, we haven't had a lot of bites. Haven't had a lot of luck since he caught his PB. Yep. Well, what a day it was out there. Right. <laughs> so I could say Danny hit double digit bass. I got eight, so. Still, regardless, a great day, but the bite just turned off at like 7.30. It just stopped and we just couldn't catch anything. Luckily, Danny got that one smallmouth before we had to head out. Yep. I don't know if it was just the today or something, or maybe this lake's just going to be fire from here on out, but we'll see how it goes next time we go fishing here, but we might fish a new lake next time. I don't really know. We kind of just plan things like the day of, or like we just we just wing it every fishing trip. Anyways, if you guys did enjoy this video, be sure to leave a fat thumbs up, and as always, stay tuned. Until next time, on Bass Bros.